eat. Later, Kenny. Honey, she's talking to that shark again. from a fire. Well, he didn't actually rescue anyone. He just barked when he smelled smoke and woke everyone up. But he still saved their lives. No matter how you look at it, he's a hero. <laughs> good Marty. Oh, what a good dog you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. A little more behind the ears. I've got a special treat for my hero dog friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. A femur. Nice haul. This is nothing. Bon appétit. I get my favorite food as much as I can eat. I'm telling you, Kenny, this being a hero thing is the best. I guess it almost makes it all worth it. You know, the close brush with death, my extreme bravery in the face of terrible danger. Extreme bravery? You started barking because you were afraid you were missing a meal. Look at the medal, Kenny. What does it say? I know, I know. No, tell me what it says. I can't read. Pet hero. Right. Now, move along. Can't keep my fans waiting. <laughs> By saving his master from danger, the pet hero proves his worth beyond any doubt. Cat's going to find out that Marty's not the only hero around here. Ah. Kenny! Hey, boy! Stop right there! Huh? It's a good thing I came along. You could have strangled yourself on one of those straps. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I did it! Huh? I saved you! You were going to step on this truck, fall, and crack your skull open. I saved you! But I saw the truck, Kenny. I wasn't going to step on it. It could have moved! There could have been an earthquake, and the truck could have rolled a couple of inches, and you would have stepped on it and batted your brains out. I saved you! Um, you feel okay, boy? Fine. Look out! Did you see that? You could have punctured a vital organ with this spoon. Close one. Huh, Cat? You want to tell me what's going on here? Just trying to rescue you, like any worthy pet would. And if the mayor decides to give me a medal or two, well, I would be honored. <laughs> nice try, Kenny. But, Cat, you might have severed a major artery. Heroes pull drivers from car wrecks, protect people from burglars, save families from fires. Spoons are kind of low on their list. Besides, you're already a worthy pet. Ah! Anyone home? Burglar! Ah! Shut you! Kenny! Oops. <laughs> My mistake. Sorry, Oscar. That's okay. I brought the tools. Cool. Hey, Kenny, want to come with us? I'm designing Marty a new doghouse. What? Why? He's a hero now. He can't live in that old pile of kindling. Come on. I think I'll pass. Okay. See you later. <laughs> Hey, Kenny. Shh. Is that here? 
Over. Code 7 at 211 Front Street. Code 7? Sounds like a real emergency. This is a job for... Roger that, Mobile 5. And save some of those glazed donuts for me. <sighs> Never mind. What's that? It's a police scanner. I can use this to find out where the emergencies are and rescue people before anyone else does. You know, Kenny, not everyone's cut out to be a hero. It takes a special kind of breed to look danger in the eye and not blink. But you got another medal? Yeah. Craziest thing, I was crossing 3rd Street and this car came around the corner, swerved to avoid me and hit a tree. The driver was all mad until he found out the 3rd Street bridge was out. Swerving to avoid me saved his life. I'll see you later. No! <laughs> Smoke! From the kitchen! There's a fire! Kenny to the rescue! Super Kenny, away! <laughs> Super Kenny, away! Again! Hey, Pumpkin! Yeah, Dad? You know how to unjam the toaster? I'm right there! Never fear, Kenny is here! Whoa. No need to thank me, but my toast... <laughs> I'm not even going to ask. Hey, Kenny. You want to come in and take a sauna? I'm on duty. Cat did a great job, huh? Three medals! Oi! Yeah, strangest thing. This kid at the park came over and started petting me. Then he started talking. He'd never talked before. It turns out that petting me actually opened him up to the world. Hey, where you going? Attention all units, burglary in progress at 722 Whitworth. <laughs> Whitworth, that's the next block over. At last, my moment of glory has come. Super Kenny, to the rescue. <laughs> At last, big shiny metal, here I come. Not so fast, burglar boy! Super Kenny is here! <laughs> Greetings, officers. Anyone want to give Super Kenny a hand? And because of Kenny, the burglar got away! I'm sure he meant well. Well, our neighbors don't understand. The police have been trying to catch that burglar for weeks, and this was their big chance. From now on, that shark's under house arrest. If I see him outside of your room, you're both in trouble. I'm sorry. I just saw how proud you were of Marty. I thought I'd be a hero, too. Oh, I have to go to school. Try not to do anything crazy while I'm gone, okay? I'll never be a hero. I'm a zero. Everyone is mad at Kat and her parents, and it's all because of me. I'll save them all a lot of trouble if I go back to the ocean right now. Goodbye, Kat, wherever you are. I'm sorry I wasn't that super, but Kenny. <laughs> Thought you'd get away, huh? No one escapes Super Kenny! I am happy to bestow Tiburon's highest pet hero honor on Kenny the Shark. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Kenny. Thanks. But I'm proud of you no matter what. What do you mean? You don't 
don't have to be anything other than just plain old Kenny, as far as I'm concerned. You'll always be my favorite, no matter what. You know that, right? Yeah, I guess I do. Thanks, Cat. That means more to me than anything. Who gets the seal burgers? <laughs> Job on that burglar. <laughs> Marty, you saved my life. Am I on a roll or what? Well, he used to live in the sea, but he had another plan. So he packed up all his things and he moved himself to land. And on that very day, a girl named Cat would say, Mom. That I'm gonna love He's not a cat Or a dog Or a frog Or a hog He's something different Something special Kenny Kenny the shark I want Kenny Kenny the shark When do we eat? Later, Kenny Honey, she's talking To that shark again Yum! Seal flakes! Dig in, Kenny! Check this out. It says here if you send in 50 box tops, you can get a free pair of X-ray glasses. X-ray glasses? What are those for? So you can see through stuff. Who needs to see through stuff when you can just bite through it? I tell you, those raccoons are a pain in the asparagus. Pardon the French. They get in the garbage again? That's the fifth night in a row. No matter how well I seal up the cans, those little devils find a way in. Isn't there some kind of trap you could use? Well, yeah, but I don't want to hurt them. They're living creatures, just like you and me. Listen to him, poor sap. He has no clue about how the animal world works. What do you mean? I mean, if you want to get rid of raccoons, you can't pussyfoot around. Force is the only thing they understand. Huh. Well, maybe you could scare them off. Maybe? I don't think maybe. You give me 24 hours, those raccoons will be packing their bags. Hey, Dad. Kenny said... I mean, I just had an idea. Kenny can take care of those raccoons for you. Kenny! Of course! Why didn't I think of that? Your troubles are over, Pops. Kicked out of the house again? Far from it. I've got a very important assignment. Protecting old man Cassidy's garbage cans from raccoons. Raccoons? Oh, no. You don't want to mess with them. Marty, you're talking to one of nature's fiercest predators. Yeah, but raccoons are tough customers. They play dirty. Look, Marty, I got super sensitive smelling, <laughs> super sensitive hearing, and jaws of death. I don't care how dirty they play, they're still going down. I guess you're right. Well, I'm gonna get some shut-eye. Take her slow, Marty. I'll save you a raccoon bone. Bingo. Okay, you furry little pests. You just messed with the wrong garbage can. Now you're gonna have to answer to Officer Kenny. What the? Hey, look, it's Officer Kenny. And he looks hungry. Stupid raccoons! <laughs> so how did it go last night? Oh, <laughs> you know, it's... Can you believe this? I just got a ticket from the sanitation department for having garbage on the lawn. Fifty bucks! So much for Kenny the watchdog. Hey, that's not fair. Okay, the raccoons got the best of me last night, but tonight... I'm gonna show them who's boss. You'll see. 
Why don't you give Kenny another chance, Dad? I'm sure he'll scare them off this time. I'll believe it when I see it. All righty. One high-powered flashlight, one fishing net, one rope. Okay, you little trash munchers. I'll teach you to make me look bad. Game on! Guess you didn't know who you were dealing with, my friend. Hey, officer! Careful you don't slip! <laughs> Raccoons. Thanks a lot, Kenny. You're a big help. Did you get another ticket? No. Fortunately, I cleaned everything up before the sanitation guy could get here. But obviously, Kenny can't do the job. I almost had him last night, Cat. I was this close. Look, Kenny, why don't you just forget about it? I'm sure Dad can find some other way to stop the raccoons. No way, Cat. I can't let those raccoons beat me. I'll look like a wimp. I'll never live it down. Maybe you should just talk to the raccoons. Maybe if you ask nicely. Cat, no offense, but you don't understand the animal kingdom. Brute force is the only thing that works. It hasn't worked so far. Don't worry. Tonight, I've got a foolproof plan. They want to play games? Officer Kenny can play games, too. Officer Kenny? Or chop chai tea leaves, moldy bread. Mm. I'd eat this. Perfect. The ultimate raccoon trap. And now we wait. Say your raccoon prayers because you're about to be raccoonsicles. <laughs> ah, skunk! Bad smell, bad smell. <laughs> oh, sweet. I hate raccoons. <laughs> hey, Kenny. I'm sorry you have to eat outside, but Mom and Dad say you can't come back in till the smell wears off. I think this is really working. What do you think? Uh, yeah, keep scrubbing. Hey, where are you going? I haven't had any company all morning. Sorry, Kenny, but I have to, um, fold my socks. Cat, don't be like that. Hey, Kenny, how's it... Whoa! What happened to you? Nothing. Just a little run-in with a skunk. You reek! Oh, come on. This from a guy who sniffs rear ends all day? What's wrong with rear ends? Never mind. So, wanna hang? Uh, I just remembered I got some shoes that need shoeing. But, Marty... Catch you later, Kenny. <sighs> There's Dad. Maybe he wants to play. <laughs> no, get back, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> no one loves me because I stink! I'm the loneliest shark in the world! Ow! Hey, keep it down, Officer Ken! Yeah, you're disturbing a whole neighborhood. You might have to write yourself a ticket. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. you're a real riot. Yeah, we know. So what do you got planned for us tonight, Officer Ken? You gonna arrest us? Take us downtown for some questioning? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna arrest you, because I quit. What do you mean you quit? You win, okay? You beat me. Go ahead, take all the food you want. In fact, here. 
Chow down, boys. Have yourselves a real feast. See if I care. Well, uh, thanks, Officer Ken, but to be honest, we don't want your food. You don't? Nah, we get all the food we want from the garbage cans next door. <laughs> Marty's? But I don't get it. Why have you been raiding our garbage cans every night? For these? Seal flakes boxes? Not boxes, box tops. Twelve more of these babies, and we can send away for a pair of those x-ray glasses. We'll be able to see through every garbage can in the neighborhood. That's all you want? Yep. What an idiot I've been. I should have just come and talked to you in the first place instead of trying to prove I could beat you. Live and learn, Ken. I'll tell you what. If you stay out of our garbage cans, I'll collect the box tops for you. How's that sound? That sounds like a deal. By the way, you might want to soak in some tomato juice. It really helps get the smell out. Thanks, fellas. Don't mention it. Well, Cat, I guess I underestimated Kenny. Those raccoons haven't touched the garbage all week long. I told you Kenny could do it, Dad. Good boy, Kenny. I owe you one. Cash or chum, gladly accepted. Hi, everyone. Hi, hon. Hi, Mom. Ooh, let's see what we got. Where'd you get those? Well, we had a few extra box tops, so... Chicken, fish, steak, frozen pizza. Aw. No seal pops? Oh, yeah! Life is good! <laughs> well, he used to live in the sea, but he had another plan. So he packed up all his things and he moved himself to land. And on that very day, a girl named Cat would say, Later, Kenny. Honey, she's talking to that shark again. Just a second. Okay. What do you think? Ooh, not bad. Well, it passes the drool test anyway. Morning, Mr. Cassidy. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Did you come get your package? I guess so, but uh, why can't you bring it to the house? It's that shark, Mr. Cassidy. You never know when he might attack. Can he? Oh, I know he might have scared you once or twice, but he's a good shark now. He won't give you any trouble. You know the saying, a tiger shark doesn't change its stripes. That's not fair, Jimmy. Kenny's really well behaved now. Peter, I need to talk to you. I think Kenny stole a brisket out of my meat freezer last night. That shark belongs back in the ocean. <laughs> Mr. Runette saw what he thought was a shark running down the street. How can he be sure it was Kenny? Come on, Cat. How many other pet sharks are there in the neighborhood? But he's not even sure it was a shark. And Kenny swears he didn't do it. So Kenny told you that he's innocent. I know, Kenny. This isn't something he'd do. Not my style at all. Now a nice, medium, rare tenderloin. Mm. I'll let you handle this. Well, Banana, this time we're gonna give Kenny the benefit of the doubt. But we'd like you to keep an eye on him. Maybe he should stay in your room tonight. What? Your tiny room? You'd prefer the ocean? Your room sounds great. Hopefully you'll only be cooped up in here for a couple nights. You know it wasn't me, right, Cat? Kenny, you heard me downstairs. If you tell me you didn't do it, I believe you. Thanks, Cat. You're a good friend. So are you. Mwah. Hey, Dad, 
Is this how the Mayans cooked the birds they hunted? No, but they did cook on an open flame, just like us. Cool. Then we can call it Pollo de los Mayans, okay? <laughs> sure. Now let's get it all on the grill so we can eat before the Mayan New Year. I'll get the rest. Sausages. Are we, like, done yet? Just one more tray to go, Phoebe. Put those on the windowsill to cool. I can't believe this. It's not like those bake sale dorks are even going to appreciate how hard we worked. Watch your language, young lady. <gasps> so, you weren't too cramped? Well, you know us sharks like to keep moving, but I guess for a couple of nights it'll be okay. If it keeps people from accusing you of things you didn't do, Sorry. it's worth it. Sorry. We need to speak to your dad. That shark stole my family's smokiest sausage. He snatched my Mayan chicken. He, like, took all our pies. But Kenny couldn't have done any of that. He was in my room the entire night. When you sleep, that's when he sneaks out and does his smelly, fishy business. And really, what kind of nerd would have a shark as a pet to begin with? Language, young lady. But she's right. Throw him back in the ocean! Oh, so Before you go walking the big fish off a short plank, let me show you the view from this old swabby's poop deck. Kenny, ship shape with me. Man the helm on my watch any day. Like, did anyone understand a word of that? Back in the ocean! He's got to call him! He's, He's got to call him! He's got to call It's just not fair. Pumpkin, you heard them. You mean you would actually force Kenny to go back into the ocean? If we want to stay in this neighborhood, we don't have a lot of other options. But Kenny didn't do anything! Evidence against your pet is pretty strong. It wasn't him! There's no use arguing about it, Cat. Your father and I have a decision to make. We'll let you know what we decide tomorrow morning. <laughs> Kenny! What are you doing? I duct tape myself to the wall. That way, if anything happens tomorrow, they'll know I didn't do it. It's not going to help. We've got to prove to Mom and Dad that you didn't do anything last night. It doesn't matter what we do. They won't believe us. They will if we find out who's really been stealing all the meat. Well, I know who's doing that. You do? <laughs> sure. It's got to be some new shark moving in on my territory. Then all we have to do is catch him. Sure. But how? Hey, nothing like grilled seal, the sirloin of the sea. Good evening, Captain Ahern. Ahoy, Mr. Keratosis, Phoebe. How's the Kenny watch going? Quiet so far. No sign of that devil fish. But it's, like, so exciting. You never know when we could turn the corner and see that shark swallowing someone's pet or something. I brought my camera along just in case. Well, on this watch, it's as calm as a spring lull south of the Galapagos. Thank you, Captain. He makes, like, no sense. Curses! I need to duck into the mess for another lemon so they don't turn scurvy. Any sign of that toothsome rascal? Not yet. It's only a matter of time, though. No shark within miles can resist grilled seal. In fact, maybe I should do a little taste test. Make sure it's good. Come on, Kenny. We have to make him think the coast's clear. Right, right. Thank goodness for this rope. There he blows! We got him! After him! Taste my steel! This! A little heavier than 
I remember it. <gasps> Well, he better know how to fight like one. I'll teach you to invade my territory. <laughs> Under control. Lucky for him. Now, let's see who's been stealing all the meat. Oh. Oh. Jimmy! Yeah, I did it. Jimmy? Why? He thought that by pretending to be a shark, he would get Kenny in so much trouble that you and Mom would have no choice but to throw him back in the ocean. Right, Jimmy? It's true. And it would have worked, too, if it hadn't been for you and that darn shark. Read him his rights, Phoebe. You have the right to, like, remain silent. Any meat we stole can and will be used against you. Hey, Cat. Hi, Oscar. My father is sorry that he thought Kenny stole our Pollo de los Mayans. And he has something to make it up to him. Go ahead, Dad. Give it to him. <laughs> knew that being innocent could be so tasty. <laughs> Miss Cat, I was wrong to pass premature judgment on the fish. Please, take this savory smoked sausage. <laughs> smoke delicious. Cat, we want to apologize for misjudging Kenny. To make it up to him, we ordered a special shark treat over the internet. What is it? What is it? Anybody order anything from yummychummy.com? I'll take that. What happened to Jimmy? Oh, he took a vacation. Well, he sure needed it. Man, this is so awesome. I really needed to get away from work. Man, that's the biggest seal I've ever seen. I call the wishbone. Front flippers? What? You always get the front flippers. But he had another plan So he packed up all his things And he moved himself to land And on that very day A girl named Cat would say Mom, Dad, I want a pet that I'm gonna love He's not a cat or a dog or a frog or a hog He's something different, something special Kenny, Kenny the shark I want Kenny, Kenny the shark When do we eat? Later, Kenny. Honey, she's talking to that shark again. Marco! Polo! No fair peeking! Yeah, yeah. I must have that shark for my pet collection. He'll be the centerpiece of my new aquarium. Merkins, warm up the limo. Pardon me, young sir, but shouldn't you wait until your parents return from holiday? Nonsense. Mummy and Daddy always give me what I want anyway. I might as well get it now. <laughs> I must have him. Oh, hello. I'll get my daughter. Never mind. It's you with whom I wish to speak. The name is Plush Toy. Burton Plush Toy the Third. I'm sure you've heard of me. Uh... I have the most impressive collection of exotic pets in the Western Hemisphere. Oh, yeah. But my collection is sadly incomplete. Well, hello, my man-eating friend. How are you today? Who's the little creep? Look what I've got for you. 
I like them. For a little creep. I would like to purchase your shark. Oh, I'm sorry. Kenny is not for... How does $10,000 sound? Sold. Dad, are you insane? We're not selling Kenny. $10,000, Pumpkin. No. I'm sorry, but my daughter is rather attached to this shark. 50000 But I'm sure if I talk to her... Forget it, Dad. Kenny's not for sale at any price. Got that right. <laughs> Middle-class miscreants, I'll have that shark for my collection whether you want me to or not. But, young sir, I distinctly heard them decline your allowance money. There's more than one way to catch a shark, Merkins. See you after school. I'll be here. Hey, Kenny. What's shaking, dog? That terrier on 3rd Street tipped me off to a whole new row of garbage cans. You want to check it out? Oh, baby. Marty, are we in heaven? As far as the eye can see. Where did it all come from? A meat truck must have had an accident. We gotta act fast and eat it before someone realizes it's here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> This is fine. I'll get off here. Don't worry, my lovely specimen. We'll be at your new home in a jiffy. What? Let me out! <laughs> That's good. Conserve your splendid man-eating strength. Kenny, I'm home. Kenny? Kenny? Hey, have you seen Kenny? No. Weird. He's always here when I get home. I wouldn't worry about it, Radish. He's probably out running around with Marty. Help! Get me out of here! Cat! Cat! What did I tell you, Merkins? He's going to be the most spirited animal in my collection. Kenny, where are you? <gasps> Marty! Here, boy! What is it, Marty? You look sad. You would be, too, if you'd been tossed out of the meat car. Does this have to do with Kenny? That shark gets all the good meat. Marty, this is important. Can you help me find Kenny? Great idea. More meat for everyone. Now, just a quiet hop to the floor. Good enough. Hey, Fiends, you are not going to leave us here with Loco Boy, are you? No way! You can't! Come on, be a guy! That guy's gonna kill us! Liberton! Vamanos! Yes, you are a clever fish. But no match for a plush toy. If we're gonna track Kenny, you have to get his scent. So I got this for you to smell. It's Kenny's chum bucket. Fishy. Definitely fishy. That's good, Marty. Really get his scent. Almost got it. Cat, where are you? He says he misses a cat. Whoa! And I thought that barracuda with the brain worms was insane. I'm not entertained. This fish is not amusing me. Where's the thrill? Where's the magic? Hello? Hello? It's almost as if he doesn't appreciate the great cost and effort I expended to obtain him. He seems like he might be lonely, sir. Hmm. Kenny's 
in there? I don't know about Kenny, but the meat car's right there. Still some meat juice left. This is Burton Plush Toy's car. That creep kidnapped Kenny and put him in his collection. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we gotta get him out of there. Uh, we? Oh, Fishy, I've got someone here who wants to see you. This cat here? You're going to love her. This sulky shark is raining on my cavalcade of fun. Perhaps with a different wig? No, no, he's just not going to work out. Release him from the aquarium. Very good, sir. Yes! I'm out of here! Take him to the kitchen and we'll have him for dinner. And they're going to feed me first! This is awesome! Let this be a lesson to all of you. Those of you who cease to entertain me will be promptly eaten. Oh, no! <laughs> More like it. Yes? Burton plush toy? What is it, girl? I'm immensely wealthy and have no time for chit-chat. I'm a reporter for the school newspaper, and this is my faithful news dog, Marty. Oh, please don't collect me. We've heard that you have the most impressive collection of exotic pets in the Western Hemisphere, and we'd like to make you our front page story. Front page, you say? Pearly Crocodile, they're from Cuba, very endangered. Angolan Python, extremely rare. Blue-fronted Amazons, they cost me a bundle. Excuse me, Mr. Plush Toy, but I hear you have an amazing tiger shark? Yes, but he was boring, so I'm eating him. Now, the cheetahs, they're really... What did you do to Kenny, you little creep? Why, you're that saucy shark girl. Kenny! Now, let me see. Where is your flank steak? Kenny! Cat! I'm in here! Oh, that was a bit of a surprise. Cat! You found me! You didn't make it easy. How did you do it? I just never gave up. You must oh. leave my property immediately. <laughs> What nerve! You're not even faintly exotic. <laughs> exotic enough to bite your butt! <laughs> nice, Sharky. P -p Perhaps I was too hasty. You seem like you might be quite spirited after all. Your collecting days are over, plush toy. Hi, Dad. Hello, Peach. I want to ask you a favor. Can I keep a couple pets until I can find homes for them? Please? We're not talking about more sharks, are we? Oh, no. <laughs> well, then, I'm sure we'll be okay. <laughs> 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 well, he used to live in the sea, but he had another plan. So he packed up all his things and he moved himself to land. And on that very day, a girl named Cat would say, Mom, Dad, I want a pet that I'm gonna love. He's not a cat or a dog or a frog or a hog. He's something different, something special. Can he? Can he? When do we eat? Later, Kenny. Honey, she's talking to that shark again. <laughs> Ellie, surprise!
come I wasn't invited to the tank party? It's no party, Kenny. The new owner is cramming us together to make room for some new attractions. Speaking of attraction, I got you a present. Wow, you're really hungry. Did you miss your after-brunch pre-lunch feeding? The new owner is starving us. He says we'll fit into smaller tanks if we eat less food. What? Less food? Less food? Less food? Less food? Kenny, calm down. A few seconds here or there isn't gonna make a difference. Oh. I don't know, Kenny. Looks like there's plenty to eat in there. That's not her food. Those are her roommates. What? Somebody's making a big mistake. A bull shark, a bull hut, and a bull dolphin should never be kept in the same tank. They're natural enemies. And bull trout don't even live in salt water. Who would do this to the aquarium? I, Burton Plush Toy the Third, shall use this aquarium to house the world's greatest collection of exotic pets. So you've told me, sir. And by adding theme park type attractions, the unwashed masses shall finance my acquisition of new and even more exotic species. Now that my allowance has been cut off, the mind reels. Okay, guys, let's really let him hear us. When do I get my free pumpkin? After the protest. Hey, hey, ho, ho, fish mistreatment's got to go. Come on, guys, you call that a chant? Louder! I'll bet we'd chant louder if we all got free produce, as promised. I said after the protest. Fine, I was just asking. Hey, hey, ho, ho, fish mistreatment's got to go. That infernal racket is preventing me from enjoying my pudding. It seems there is some sort of protest going on, sir. Protest? Oh. Why are they protesting against my aquarium? Don't they know who I am? Hey, hey, ho, ho! Fish mistreatment's got to go! Hey, oh, look! Tiger shark! What a dazzling specimen! I must have him. But, sir, don't you remember? You attempted to kidnap that shark before. His owner proved quite tenacious. Silence! He must be mine. Welcome to Plush Toy Aquarium. Plush Toy! I should have known. Where boring fishies are fun. What about the mistreatment of the fish? What about our newest attraction, the Make Your Own Sushi Bar? Yeah, 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 yeah! And our first item on the menu shall be Bull Shark. Will it be free? No. But we will be giving away these complimentary lobster bibs. Yeah! <laughs> He's in for a surprise. There's actually very little meat on a bull shark. Kenny, he's talking about eating Ellie. <laughs> Kenny, no! <laughs> you didn't think I'd allow a man-eater into my domain without taking proper precautions. <laughs> what are you up to, plush toy? Mummy and Daddy bought me the aquarium to house my collection. Then why make sushi out of your exotic pets? Exotic? Oh, pish. Most of the animals here can be found in that stinking bay out there. They're common. You, on the other hand, are magnificent. Not again. You can't have Kenny! There will be no negotiation. The tiger shark will come to live in my aquarium, or his female friend will be my next meal. Well, I'm going. I can't let that billionaire brat turn Ellie into snack food. You could at least try to stop me. We've got to find a way to get the animals out of there and back to the bay. But how? We could always sneak in after hours through the ventilation system, but that's been done to death. That's brilliant. How'd you come up with that? Sharks don't sleep, remember? I watch heist movies on late night cable all the time. The gang always breaks in through the ventilation system. Ah, forget it. It won't work. Why not? You need someone inside to release the door on the vent. So it's gotta be an inside job. 
Good thing we know somebody who's about to be on the inside. You could at least try to stop me. Okay, so after you've given yourself up, I'll climb the wall up to the roof and enter the vent shaft. When I'm ready, I'll call you and we'll rendezvous inside here. Call me? With this. Swallow it. When you get inside, just barf it up. Easy for you to say. Don't worry, Kenny. I'll get Ellie out of there, and you too. I'm not worried about me. I got eight rows of these bad boys to protect me. But I don't like you going in there alone. You need backup. Hold still, darn it. Hey, Marty. What's cracking, Ken? How'd you like to watch Cat's back while we break into the aquarium? What do you say? Are you in or out? I don't know. My, my guy says if I get thrown in the pound again, he's locking me in the basement for good. Oh, oh yeah. That's the spot. Keep scratching. He's in. Sharky, how I prize possessing you. I suppose you'd like a bit of company, hmm? Your lady friend, perhaps? Yes. Well, that will not happen today or any other day. Merkins, prepare the bull shark. I'm in the mood for sushi. Ah! My dear Sharky, never trade jabs with a plush toy. <laughs> um, Kenny, a little help, please. Cat, code blue! I mean, code red! I mean, the eagle has landed! Kenny, what are you talking about? Plush Toy's gonna make sushi out of Ellie! Come on, Marty, we gotta move! Fast! <laughs> Smells like Captain Scrotty's fish and chips down there. Yum! <gasps> it's only fitting that I am the first to take part in Plush Toy Aquarium's new Make Your Own Sushi attraction. <laughs> Merkins, why aren't you making my sushi? <laughs> Marty! You saved Ellie! Great! Now, where are the fish sticks? I told you you'd never get away with it, plush toy! Guards! Seize them! Guards! 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 Everybody freeze. Who's in charge here? I am, officer, and I'm glad you're here. This urchin and her mongrel are trespassing on my property. Take them away in irons. Special Agent Salmonella, Department of Health. We got a tip you're trying to open an unlicensed sushi bar. Look at this chef. His hands are filthy. Take him away and call his parents. You may have won the battle, but I shall win the war. The tiger shark will be mine. No one serves fish without washing his hands on my beat. Thanks for the tip, kid. Tip? What tip? Well, you know, it was plan B. Just in case breaking in through the ventilation shaft didn't work out. <laughs> Kenny, don't be that way. It was a good plan. A great plan, really. Would somebody get me out of here? <laughs> They ain't. So now the aquarium is being run by the zoo, and all the animals are back in their proper tanks. And it's all thanks to us. And, you know, the health inspector. How's my breath? Look, chummy. Sweet. So, you're finally getting that special date with Ellie, huh? Yep. Now that she's back in her tank, we can finally have some alone time together. <laughs> My hero. Yeah. Ah. ah, nuts. Special. 
Honey, she's talking to that shark again. He glides through the ocean. Master of all he sees, the mighty tiger shark. Stealthily he approaches, prepares to strike. And then! I was afraid this might happen. Afraid what might happen? Well, I saw this documentary a while ago. It said that animals who are taken out of their natural habitat can start to go crazy. Crazy? What are you talking about? I'm just playing. Talking to yourself, chewing on the diving board. I'm worried about you. Cat, really? Maybe you need to spend more time around sea animals. Well, there's one little problem there, Catster. When you're as fearsome as yours truly, other sea animals are afraid to come anywhere near you. Nope. The tiger shark swims alone. Well, we gotta think of something. Hey, Kenny, guess what? Captain Ahern just got a new pet, and I think you two will really hit it off. Oh, yeah? What kind of pet? A seal, I hope. Come on, let's go over there. I want it to be a surprise. Okie dokie. Let me get some soy sauce and a dinner napkin. Ahoy there, cat. Kenny, let me get Buster for ya. Buster! <laughs> Buster, this is Kenny. Kenny, Buster. An orca? He's a big fella, but harmless as a seal pup. Look at that. He likes you, Kenny. You two go out back and play. Cat, maybe you'd like to join me for a bowl of chowder. Sure, Captain. <laughs> well, well, if it ain't a tiger shark. I guess your friend doesn't know we orcas eat your kind for breakfast. Listen, Bob. I'm not afraid of any overgrown dolphin. There's plenty of chowder to go around, lads. So here's a little treat for each of you. Oh, boy. Chowdy chow chowder. Oh, there, son. I'll eat yours. No way. That's my chowder. I see I'm gonna have to teach you some manners. <laughs> Get off of me! Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna like having you as a neighbor, Kenny. Hey, you guys are wrestling, huh? That's great! See, Kenny, I knew this would be good for you. Well, I gotta go do some homework. You guys have fun. But... Oh, Kenny! Got a surprise for you! Oh, goody! Just toss it right in here, Cato. Is it meat, fish, or other? No, no, not that. I just got off the phone with the captain, and I invited Buster to come over tomorrow. Buster? Yeah. I thought you guys could hang out in the pool. It'll be just like being back in the ocean. Oh, sounds great, Cat. But I think I'm coming down with the flu. Kenny, sharks don't get the flu. This is what I mean. You've been in captivity so long that you think you're a human. That's why it's even more important to spend time with Buster. Thank you, Buster. Kenny! Buster's here! Oh, hey, Buster. Well, I gotta get to school. You guys have fun! Bye, Kenny. Bye. Good to see you again, Ken. Ready to have some fun? Well, don't just sit there. This pool needs some water. Go get the hose. What, did your fins fall off? Get it yourself. Hey, that's no way to talk to your guest. Now run along. And what if I don't? This. Are you gonna fill up that pool? 
fine. Ugh. I knew you'd see it my way. While you're making that pool all nice for me, I think I'll grab a snack. Hey, Kenny, who's your new friend? Looks like one tough customer. Nothing I can't handle. It didn't look that way when he swallowed you like a goldfish. Oh, you saw that. I don't know what to do, Marty. He's a big bully, but Cat keeps making me hang out with him. Why don't you just tell her he's bullying you? I can't. I already told her I was the toughest guy in the sea. I'll look like a fool. You should take this self-defense class for pets. A buddy of mine, a schnauzer, took it when this great Dane was stealing his steak bones. Did it work? Now the Dane is bringing him T-bones. It sounds great. You're a lifesaver, Marty. Don't mention it. Whoo, boy. Hot one today, huh? Mind if I take a dip? Be my guest. Marty, wait! Last one ends a rotten... Ah! <laughs> Take it easy. I'm here for the class, just like you. Okay, people, let's get started. Welcome to the Pet Power Workshop. I'm Reggie, and I'll be your instructor today. Steal. How many of you have said to yourselves, I wish I could stand up to the bullies in my life? Steal. Steal. Well, with the power method... Ah! <laughs> Ow! You can. Ah, okay, uncle. Hey, this just might work. Beautiful morning, isn't it? What's up with you? Nothing. Just looking forward to hanging out with my dear pal Buster again. That's great, Kenny. See? I knew this was just what the doctor ordered. You seem like your old self again. Well, I do feel that killer instinct coming back. Catch you later, cat. Kiki ta untabar, cat. Excuse me? That's Mayan for hello. Oh, cool. Well, check this out. That's how orca whales say hello. See, I've been studying up on them because Kenny has a new orca friend, and I was looking for ideas about stuff they could do together. Cool. I'll help you. Hey, this is interesting. Did you know that orcas are the only sea creatures who prey on tiger sharks, often hunting them down and devouring them like so much fish food? Really? What? Oh, no! Kenny! <laughs> Oops, right in the thorny bushes. Better go get it, Ken. Uh-uh. Get it yourself. I'm sorry, Ken. I must not have heard you right. No, you heard me just fine. You're through pushing me around, Buster, because I've got pet power. <laughs> Pretty impressive, but I've got jet power. <laughs> now, how about getting that beach ball? Have it your way, Ken. I'm tired of hanging with you anyway. It's barbecue time! Hey, what are you doing? No! Put him down! Sack of blubber! You can do what you want to me, but no one threatens my friend Cat! Oh, yeah? Well, two snacks are better than one. Buster! Forty years I spent at sea, and I know a scoundrel when I see one. It's back to the briny with you, sir. Unless you'd like a taste of my harpoon gun. But... Out with you! I'm so sorry, Kenny. Some shark expert I am. I made you hang out with the only creature in the world who could harm you. Don't worry about it, Cat. I know you were only trying to help. 
But why didn't you tell me he was bullying you? No one should have to deal with that alone. I guess I wanted you to think I was the toughest guy around. Well, the way you stood up to Buster, I think you are the toughest guy around. Yeah? You know, I was about to really lay into him there. Oh, definitely. It's a lucky thing for him the captain showed up. Yeah, got that right. First, I was gonna give him one of these. And then one of these! Well, maybe it was sort of lucky for everybody the captain showed up. <laughs>